I think the contest is really interesting because I think you've got to win the membership. And yeah, the membership is to the left. I, I sort of dispute the fact that it's to the far left. I think actually most kind of Labour members are kind of progressive, but they also kind of are sensible and mm. kind of... Does that include in Labour? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think, given the scale of the kind of the election defeat, you've got to run this campaign having an eye to the country um, and having an eye to what you're trying to say to the electorate that they're going to try to kind of wheel back over the next four or five years. So I don't think you can just run solely um, with the membership. I think you have to run with the membership, but you also have to be trying to say something about where you're trying to take the Labour Party in order to sort of take the country forward. Well, so I think the thing that was quite encouraging about where Keir was um, and what he said in the Andrew Moore interview, but actually where all the candidates so far are, is they kind of recognise, and, you know, I would argue this, I've consistently argued this, that, you know, whether the, the election results doesn't change the fact that there are big issues in the country. It doesn't change the fact that we have a climate change crisis. It doesn't change the fact that we've got 40 million people living in poverty. Yeah. It doesn't change the fact that we have a crisis in our public services. And we can't, and, you know, we... Right. All politics shouldn't retreat from that ground, and certainly the Labour Party shouldn't. So okay. I think what the electorate and the membership will be looking for is a candidate that says, we recognise the need for transformational reform and change in the country, and we want to come up with a credible prospectus that we can take to the country well, in order to do I that. I mean, if you want revolution, um, you've got Dominic Cummings to go for, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the advisor uh, to uh, Boris Johnson. He cares about all those issues that you've just raised, and he says... Uh, uh, recruiting, uh, his word, weirdos into the civil service would be the way to uh, get things going. Yeah, so I think Claire has nails it on the head. So there is a frustration, and she's worked in Number 10, I worked in the civil service. There is a frustration that when you're trying to deliver change at pace, which Cummings is, that the civil service sometimes feels a bit slow and clunky, and the kind of urgency that you need in order to be a revolutionary in his terms isn't really there. I think the big problem is if you go in there and you just slay everyone, the very people that you need to do everything, that you're going to need in order to negotiate your free trial agreement, that you're going to need in order to drive through any reform. And if he attacks and sees this as yet another campaign, another war, another picking an enemy and establishment, I think that's a problem for him because you've got to get the civil service on side. So yes, you need reform. Yes, you need pace and urgency. But there are ways and there are ways. And I'm not sure this particular gentleman perhaps has the way through to doing that. So I think the thing that is interesting <laughs> is, I, I, I think Cummings has sort of read the mood of the country. I think he understands that the referendum was about fundamental change. Well, he won yeah. that, yeah. Well, absolutely. And so I think within this, there is quite an interesting piece, because I think what we're going to see in the Conservative Party is a shift, I hope, she says, um, is a shift whereby, you know, we probably will see them moving in a progressive direction on economic policy, where they're like, we've got to be more into Ventures. We've got to do things in order to consolidate our win in constituencies that have never voted for us. So I think there's a really interesting space that we're entering mm. in terms of domestic policy, which for me is a good thing, because I think all sides... Could you become a Tory, a Cummings-like Tory? <laughs> I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. But if there is consensus across the political spectrum that we need bold, radical action in order to try and deal with some of the problems in the country, that is a good thing. So I'm happy that we've got a revolutionary number 10. I want to see it across all of our political parties because this is you the know, time the, for the, action. The key